album Love is out now. Talk to us all about that. Uh, love, it's just uh, it's a, a good depiction of like, you know, where I'm at at my age today. And, uh, you know, just what I've gone through. You know, a lot of people grew up with me and grew up listening to albums that I did when I was younger. So mm -hmm. when I came back out, got a little bit older and it's life. You know, I've grown up and now I get to kind of talk about like what I've been through and what's happened in my life. And I produced the record, I wrote the record, I executive produced the record, um, had full creative control over the whole thing. Sooner or later she'll be Trips to Chicago, don't call me crazy this time tomorrow. Sooner or later is doing great. I mean, it's got like, uh, it's gold in about 12 countries now. It, it made top 40. It's actually the second single off, off the album to, uh, to go top 40 radio. He's a little bit of old school for it. That goes a little something like this. It's been cool seeing your sound evolve so much too because, you know, I grew up listening to Aaron's Party Come Get It, playing Super Mario Brothers with my family, <laughs> like just jamming out to that song. And then your new stuff is so good too. It's called Love and you're in a relationship now. We see your posts all over Insta. Oh yeah. Could there be a ring in your future? I, I don't know. Maybe. Just be patient. You never know what's going to happen. What, what does real love mean to you, and what's the sweetest thing maybe you've ever done? Love love has a big meaning, obviously, to me. It's tattooed on my neck. It's uh, the name of my last album. I was feeling maybe a little not understanding love, or maybe not getting real love or genuine love, but it you know it taught me what I deserve, mm -hmm. you know, and like, like what's right for me and what's not, mm -hmm. so. So you've been open about your health struggles and you seem really healthy now, looking good, feeling fine. Thank you. What tips would you give to someone who's kind of going through the same thing or, or just in general to stay healthy? In my situation, it's a little different because I think there's a stigma behind uh, men talking about um, eating disorders and being skinny and all that kind of stuff, you know. I'm trying to create an awareness for that. I have an eating disorder, I have a hiatal hernia and ulcers and people don't understand it. Such a double standard. It's such a double standard, yeah. And, and you never know what s someone's going through. That's why I thought it was important for me to go on national TV, on the doctors, and throw it in everyone's face because I'm, sh I'm sick of hearing people being demeaning and defaming and, you know, depict a story about me that's not accurate. Why so, was it important for you to like go on the doctors and talk about that? Why was yeah. it important? because I wanted people to know that when I say something, I'm telling the truth. I'm a very open book and I'm very honest and real. And if you can't respect that, then why do I be honest and real with you? Yeah. For me, it was just like, all right, you know, one and done. Let me get this done with and then, you know what, I feel better about myself now. Aaron's party back in the day. Mm -hmm. What does Aaron's party today involve? What does it involve? What would be your perfect Friday night? Some, some, you go some out, Don do you Julio's? stay in? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my, perfect, my perfect Aaron's party will always be like, my concerts, you know. Yeah. That, that's 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 where it really lies. So, and, uh, and you're actually, going on tour coming up. Yep, yep, coming on tour uh, really soon. And uh, I actually redid uh, "I Want Candy" on the new album. So, and uh, I turned it into like a little bit of like an EDM version. So of it. So it's really cool. And how's Nick? Are you? How's the fam sitch? Good. Everyone's great. Everyone's great. Yeah, Nick's doing great. They're about to release a new album uh, called DNA. So. I'm always excited when my brothers release an album, so I'm, I'm their biggest fan. I was their first fan before any of you guys knew who they were. Yeah. Obviously, I knew them before you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, I got to sit in there in the studio and watch Quit Playing Games With My Heart, all, all I Want It That Way, all those songs being produced. So I think that's where I, kinda, I had this, like, love for making music and being a composer and a, and a creator. I'm really proud of, of what I was able to accomplish because a lot of people didn't believe in me, a lot of people gave up on me, but all that mattered is that I didn't give up on myself. And just because there was producers that didn't want to work with me, okay, fine, that's, that's cool. I'll learn how to be my own producer. Yeah. I'll learn how to be my own writer. If it fails, it's my fault. I can't point the finger at anyone else, but it didn't fail. No, it didn't. So, yes, friend. guess who I get to point the finger at? Yeah. <laughs>